as technology got more advanced, our human mind also got more sophisticated. So then the technology made the news available. And now today it's instant. It's instant news. Whether it's real or it's not, that's a, that's a different story. We're not going to get into that. But you get the news instantly. And the reason is that there is a lot of el electromagnetic waves traveling in, in the air. So the electromagnetic waves disturbing your brain wave patterns. So it's hard to concentrate because there's so much information is going through constantly. You're getting bombarded by this information. So everything's fast. Everything has accelerated because the human mind is speeded up. So things appear to be going really fast because the mind has become very sophisticated and complicated and complex. So much information being processed through it simultaneously. For example, you drive your car, you're talking on your phone, you have music going on, and maybe you have your kid back there and he, she is crying or the dog is barking. But yet you somehow manage all of it on a daily basis. You can operate on the phone, driving a car, talking on a phone or texting. You're not supposed to do it, but you do it. And you're operating all these different things simultaneously. You couldn't do that 50 years ago. Your brain, your mind was not sophisticated enough, was not, wasn't trained enough to be able to handle so many different things simultaneously. But today you can. So back to my very point, because this is our first session. So I just trying to get to the point and explaining what is, what's the goal of this self-awakening workshop? What am I trying to relate to you? What am I trying to tell you? What's the target? Is that there is no separation because there is no individual entity separated. There is no me. There is no Zarathustra separated. Amir, um, our Instagram ended. No. Hold on. Yeah. So, there is no individual entity. I'm going to say it again one more time. I want you to pay attention. There is no individual entity. There is no individual entity. Does not exist. Separated from totality. Means you as an individual do not exist. You never were existing. It's an optical illusion. One moment, please. Hold on a second. Just one second. I'm going to say it again one more time. Pay attention, please. You as an individual entity, as a single person, separated from everything else, does not exist. It never existed. It's an optical illusion. It looks like it. It appears to be that way. It feels that way. The senses are telling you that's what it is, but it's non-existing. It just does not exist. 
and your mind wants to go crazy. What do you mean I don't exist? What do you mean I'm not da 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 da? I don't have my free will. Well, I just decided to pick up this glass of water and drink. And I just decide to go out there and buy a cup of coffee. And I do this and I do that. But pay attention that how many times in your life and you're deciding to go this direction and you end up being here. How many of you wanted to be, I don't know, a dentist? You wanted to be an engineer? You wanted to be a free-spirited and go travel around the world? And you ended up being a mom with three kids in your hometown? How many of you really wanted to go and be something else in your life and you ended up somewhere else? And you feel stuck. And after three kids, 30 years after, you lost your dream. And you look back at it and you really regret it. How many times you made mistakes? How many bad investments you made? How many bad relationships you got into and they dragged you down? How many times you tried to lose weight and you couldn't? How many times you tried to go to, the, to get into a good exercise pattern or f eating pattern or whatever and it doesn't work? We don't pay any attention to that. And a couple of times that I want to do something and I end up doing it, all my attention goes there. Because I like the ego, the mind likes to claim that it was me, I did it. I'm the creator of the universe. I'm the one who writes the script of my life. I create my own life. And this is where the problem is. The sense of separation. And when I'm speaking about awakening, that everyone's so attracted to those who are awakened, the ones who came to full self-realization, God-realizations, they all realized that they're not separated from the Source. They all realized that they are the expression of God. They are the expressions of the Absolute. It is the Absolute which is operating through them. And they started to realize that. And in that realization, what happens is the mind becomes quiet. Or pre that re realization. Because you have to get away from the world of the mind. This is the world of the mind. This is the web of the mind. The mind has created this world. What you're seeing, and if it's a nightmare for you, is what has been created through, not your specific mind, okay? It's the collective mind has created this. So that's why in so many of my previous workshops and my retreats and programs and in my newly made life training program, that's why, and at the academy, when you do come to the academy with me, I spend so much time and I put so much emphasis on silence. We work on that. We keep talking about be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Learn how to be silent. Let's go beyond the mind.